He's always had the quickness, the block, shot blocking ability and that. And just to see him at times be frustrated, but hang in there, keep developing, and now having these opportunities to establish himself on both ends of the floor is, is very rewarding for me as a coach, our staff, and I know it is for him. That is Virginia head coach Tony Bennett singing the praises of his senior forward, Darion Atkins. Not giving praise, singing praise. His name's Tony Bennett. Hello, welcome to the Campus Insider Studios. I'm Jordan Cornett. Virginia Cavaliers, those guys are doing work this year. 21-1, first in the Atlantic Coast Conference and ranked second in the United States of America. They do it with sublime defense and a balanced scoring attack. A critical piece to it all, the aforementioned Darion Atkins. He joins me now. Darion, they're saying Justin Anderson is looking at missing four to six weeks due to injury. Missing the rest of the regular season, inevitably some of the postseason. Who are you guys going to look to to fill that void? Um, well, you know, uh, that's uh, one good thing about our team. We have depth. I think we're going to look to uh, Evan Nolte and Mario Shayok to uh, fill the void. And, um, you know, I think we're going to, you know, st stick together and play collective, and I think we're going to be fine. The Cavalier bandwagon has picked up quite a few more followers with a string of impressive seasons you guys put together down there in Charlottesville. Despite not having Justin Anderson, give me your best pitch. Why should people still be riding with the Cavaliers? Um, because we, uh, we go hard, man. You know, we play as a team, we play together, and uh, we're blue collar uh, players. And um, uh, everyone wants to stick with us because we're, we're a really good team. Um, Justin's going to be back. We have people to, you know, fill the void and, you know, come in and, uh, you know, to step up and, you know, play their, play their part, you know, and they have, you know, opportunities and stuff like that. And um, I feel like we're, 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 we, uh, we got a long journey ahead, and I feel like, you know, people can come in and do the right thing for us. All right, man, so when defense talk comes up, it's always the University of Kentucky and you guys mention it first breath. Give it to me raw, give it to me real. Who's got the best defense? To be honest, to you, to be honest with you, I'm not going to lie. I think we got the best defense. You know, we preach it. Our defense travels on away games, and uh, definitely uh, play, plays to our advantage in home games. Um, Coach uh, Bandit Prize is pissed off on defense, so do we. We, we drill it you know, into each other day in and day out in practice. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're a defensive-minded team. That's what we do first, and then we worry about the offense later. Good man. You gave it to me raw, you gave it to me real, and you rode with your boys. I respect that. You have a twin brother, Darius. He shares your hype, but he's gone a different path, utilizing his God-given talents. He's a dancer, he's a model, and he's an actor. He's even appeared in the movie Something the Lord Has Made and my favorite show of all time, The Wire. I got brothers, so I know how I can get. It gets competitive. Tell me, who is mom's favorite? <laughs> I don't think she has a favorite. I think she loves both of us equally. And she uh, supports us both equally. Um, and uh, we're both going to get back to her equally. So I don't think she has a favorite. All right, so did he ever give you pointers on footwork? Let's say maybe you helped him with his acting or modeling poses, like a little blue steel? Um, to be honest, I, I actually did help him with his modeling and uh, uh, mo modeling poses. Um, I never got into acting. I'm not a good actor. I can't really read a script. Um, and uh, he's never really given me any po pointers on, you know, deep, uh, you know, on the, on the basketball side uh, with my footwork or anything like that. Um, I've definitely given him pointers on, you know, being able to, uh, you, know, hit, you know, with his strength and stuff like that, helping him in the weight room and push-ups. And because, uh, you know, as a dancer, you have to lift, lift up those beautiful girls and, uh, you know, stick with them. So I've been All right, man, my favorite part of the interview. We're going rapid fire time now, Darion. I ask you some rando questions. You hit me with a quick and concise answer. And we start with Kanye West. He's back in the headlines for his rant at the Grammys. Are you a Kanye fan? Or are you not a Kanye fan? I am not a Kanye fan. Really? Not a Kanye fan? Who's not a Kanye fan? Why not? I'm not a Kanye fan because, uh, I don't know, I, I just feel like um, I'm a, I stick with people who, who I think that are real in the music game. When he first came in, I felt like he was, you know, rapping some real stuff. And then now I just feel like he's gone off the deep end and gone into mass media. All right. Pro selfie or not a fan of selfies at all? Um, I'm a fan of selfies for girls, not for, not for guys. Selfies are for men, really? I've seen your Instagram page, Darion. You've got a lot of selfies on there, brother. But let's switch gears. You're known for defense, and you're the team's leading shot blocker. So tell me which one's a better feeling, dunking on someone or blocking a shot? I'm going to have to go with dunking on someone. Even though I don't you know, do it a whole lot, I love, I love when I get the chance. I have to go with dunking on someone. Valentine's Day is on the horizon. If you could take out any woman in the world, anyone, who would it be? Hmm. I would have to say my girlfriend of six years now, Brianna Bozeman, actually on the Virginia dance team. So that's my Valentine. Smooth stuff, man. A beast on the court, yet so smooth off it. That's Darion Atkins. For all your hoops coverage, as we brace ourselves for the March Madness push, keep it locked here on the digital tip, of course, at campusinsiders.com.